How guys are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to a new review here on the channel. Today we're checking out the AKG Y500 Bluetooth on-ear wireless headphones. And I can already tell you for a price of around 75 US dollars, in my opinion, they're an excellent value. So let's get into the review. As mentioned, these headphones start at a quite affordable price of 75 US dollars. And I'll leave the links where you can pick them up in the description below. And maybe they get even cheaper over time. So definitely make sure to check that out. Also, they are available in different colors. So while I have the black version right here, which is my personal favorite, they're also available in blue, green, and even pink. So if those colors uh, are more appealing to you, then definitely uh, have a look at them. To start off, I want to talk about the build quality. And these headphones are kind of a mix from different materials. They have plastic here on the ear cups, but then they have metal here in the headband and also, of course, a soft rubber here at the top. But overall, I have to say, especially considering the price, the build quality feels really good in my opinion. And I was actually pleasantly surprised. So I didn't expect them to be feeling as premium they're also very solid so i can flex them yeah they make a little bit squeaky noise i think you can hear that on the microphone but still i don't think that they would break anytime soon and what's also nice is that you can actually fold them up to carry them and to have just a smaller overall form factor and there's also a carrying case included in the box which is very nice to see as well Another interesting aspect about these headphones, especially if you carry them a lot, is how they wear and tear over time. And I picked them up around five months ago. I've been using them quite a lot. Also, my wife's using them as well. And there are basically no signs of wear or tear visible, not on the uh, ear cups here from the outside, even though it's plastic, not on the headband. So they basically look like brand new, which I think is a big, big plus. And I really appreciate how they hold up until now. In terms of weight, they clock in at around 230 grams. And I have to say, for me personally, it's a great balance between having some heft to them so that they don't feel cheap, but also not feeling too heavy that you really get a wear on your ears or on your head. So I feel like it's very comfortable to use them even for longer periods of time, which is great to see. Also in terms of clamp force, as you can see them right here, if I put them on my head, first off, I can barely hear myself now because they have quite nice uh, isolation even though there is no active noise cancellation built in. But also the clamping force, at least for me personally, is basically perfect. They are relatively loose, but that also results in really no stress on my head. And that's something um, which I really can't stand if they clamp on too tight, but still they're not falling off either. So I think that's the perfect mix between having a good and solid fit without um, just showing too much pressure on your head or ears. So I think that's a pretty perfect fit here on these headphones. To continue, let's take a look at the physical controls that we have here on the headphones themselves. And for me, that's definitely a strong point of the AKG Y500. Why? Because we have really solid buttons on here. And for example, we have a rocker switch to then turn on the headphones so they're immediately visible or show to you whether they're turned on or off because there's a difference in the position and because there's also an indicator light showing up once you turn them on. So I really prefer to have this switch instead of just a button that you press and then they're on and then you press it and they're off and you can't really tell the difference. Here it's just one look. If they are on the on position, you see the blue LED. If they are off, there's no LED visible at all. And this button is also used to pair the headphones as well. Next up on the right side, we then have the ambient aware button. And while they don't have noise cancellation, they actually have the ambient aware feature so that they let in more outside noise so that you can uh, hear, for example, if you're out and about and at, if you're at a traffic intersection or something, then you can hear the traffic better. And I think that's a pretty nice feature. I personally don't use it too often, but that's just because I mostly use these headphones indoors and there's no need for it. But it's nice to have them nonetheless, especially at this price point. And then last but not least, we have micro USB. 
Of course, I would wish to have USB-C on there, but then again, I think for 75 bucks, uh, you kind of have to make some compromise and the micro USB port uh, is one that I'm willing to live with to save some money, at least here on these headphones. Moving on then to the left side, we then have another rocker switch where you can control the volume. And I think that's also a very nice solution. I might have preferred a dial that you can rotate or maybe rotating the ear cup itself like you can find on the Surface headphones, but it still gets the job done quite well. We then also have another play and pause button, which you can also use to answer calls, but only if you have the cable connected, which we'll get into now. Because the last thing that you'll find here on the left ear cup is a 2.5 millimeter jack. And this is used to connect to the uh, cable that's included in the box, which is a 3.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter cable that also has a wired remote on there with three buttons and also a built-in microphone. So if you wanna make phone calls with these headphones, unfortunately, this is not possible just using them as Bluetooth headphones. To make phone calls and to actually have a microphone, you then have to use them wired, which is definitely one of the biggest downfalls of these headphones, in my opinion. Once you connect the wire, then you can also use them even if the battery is completely dead and they don't use any more juice while you're using them wired. So this is nice if you ran out of battery, but this also leads us to battery life and this is just an absolutely excellent aspect of these headphones because uh, AKG claims that they get up to 33 hours on Bluetooth. And while I don't have an exact measurement of the hours, I can just tell you, I really need to recharge them only, I don't know, like every third or fourth week and I'm using them daily. So um, I think that's absolutely amazing in terms of battery life. And what's also nice to see is that they have quick charge on board. So you basically have uh, to just charge them for five minutes and then you can listen for one hour, which is also great if you run out of battery. In terms of Bluetooth standards, they support Bluetooth 4.2 and they also support multi-point connections. So that means that you can connect to two devices at once, which is quite a nice feature to find. But now let's get to the most important aspect when it comes to any headphone or speaker review, and that's of course the audio quality. And I have to say I was very impressed again with these uh, headphones. Now, they won't replace your Beats headphones because they just don't have enough bass for that. But in my opinion, they have a very neutral sound that I appreciate. They have enough bass if you're listening, for example, to Ghost Town by Adam Lambert, then you can really hear it. And they also work great, for example, for Zoom or Skype calls, as well as also for listening to TV shows, whether it's on YouTube or also on Netflix. And overall, I just have to say I'm quite impressed and I didn't expect this level of sound quality on a $75 pair of headphones. So I think they'll please most people. So now it's time for my verdict and you can probably already tell that I'm very happy here with my purchase of the AKG Y500. For me personally, they are almost the perfect combination between good balanced audio quality, solid build quality, excellent battery life and also good connectivity when it comes to Bluetooth. I didn't have any connection dropouts whatsoever. Also, one thing that I would recommend is to check out if you might get them um, brand new sealed but on used listings, for example, on Craigslist or eBay Kleinanzeigen, because sometimes these headphones come bundled with Samsung smartphones, at least here in Europe, and then you can pick them up even cheaper than the regular price if you would pick them up from Amazon. So I picked them up brand new sealed on eBay Kleinanzeigen for 40 years, and honestly, for that price, it's an absolute no-brainer, and I would recommend them to anyone. So thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have the headphones or if you're thinking about purchasing them. See you next time. Thanks for watching.